Hola, hola, familia. Uf. Going live from San Jose, Costa Rica. Here filming with Mind Valley right now. A very powerful course we are doing. And I just wanted to share a little bit of what's going on. What's going on in my life. And maybe that can inspire you somehow in your life, hopefully. <laughs> Let me know where you're tuning in from. would love to hear from you. And if you're watching the replay, let me know what part of the world you're connecting from. Mm. Just uh, share with you a little bit about the studio so you can check. Now we have a silent moment. All the team is out for lunch. And we're here just a moment together between you and I. Thank you for being here. Let me show you. Instagram family, Facebook family. Here we are. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, brother. So good to see you, Michael. Yeah, it all went went well. It all went well, of course. Uh, you know, it, it it's not in our control. But um, <clears throat> wow, what a journey. Many of you have heard about it already. If you're watching my stories or. But um, beyond what happened in the drama, it's more about the lessons and the reminder, I feel, for all of us, right? And um, yeah, we're coming from this amazing retreat that we hold every year in Peru. Beautiful, deep work with so many people. Blessed out coming with Regan really early in the morning. We are so grateful, like full gratitude in this like no time, no space zone. And I feel that was very important. We were very connected, even though it was early in the morning, we were all in, in our own space and, and you know, our own connection with spirit, with life, with God. <clears throat> and um, yeah, all of a sudden it's, it's like this huge, huge crash on, on the car. And um, you enter the no time, no space where it's like, you don't know if what is this, what's going on, right? It's like huge sound, crash, and movement, and everything is in like slow motion, right? And I'm just seeing myself in the quantum field of infinite possibilities, and almost feeling like the choice, the choice that we have to like leave any moment. Right? And of course, if it's the, the time to go, we go, but there's sometimes we can choose. And, and we both were shown that how easy it was in a second. And of course, in our own worlds, we, we both chose to stay. We saw everything, everything revealed. You know, and the easy way, right? It's like, whoa, pure light, pure love, everything while the whole thing is happening, right? <clears throat> and then it's like, no, there's a voice that says, no, it's now. Now is the time. Now is the work. Now it's happening in humanity. It's not a time to go, right? Even though there was a temptation. Wow, guys, it, it was, I don't know milliseconds right but eternal milliseconds and we both like fully centered and connected to like we're here there's a big mission we're just beginning right it's been very challenging i know it's been very challenging for all of us and 
it's easy to want to run away, right? It's the easy way out. But yeah, there's there's a deeper calling, guys. And we both chose to stay. And um, very interesting. Like we see these lights of this bus coming in front, like so close. It was like two seconds and we would have disappeared two seconds guys right so we hit this huge tree that was in the middle of the road huge super misty you couldn't see much and we didn't even see it in the moment right we just felt the hit and then the car goes completely to one side and the the, the bus is coming in front of us and it's like angels like divine guidance fully protecting us and like back on track in the bus just misses up for a couple milliseconds, I would say. It was, it was very deep, guys, and it's just so interesting to feel so close to death and so fragile and so vulnerable. And like your whole life is there in front of you like like a movie like and it's like wow what an illusion what an illusion life is how beautiful and amazing and powerful but we're so close guys we're so close to not being in the body we're so close to the nothingness, the everything, at any moment. And we forget, right? For me, the lesson is like constantly, even though I'm talking about it and I'm, you know, talking about life and, and living it and like really aiming to live passionately unattached, right? Passionately unattached. I love that meaning of life. It's like, how passionate can I live every moment, fully surrendered and at the same time unattached? If it's my time, it's my time and I go and I surrender. I surrender in peace. And yeah, I won't deny that some fear came through too. It's like, whoa. And at the same time, beyond that fear, what I felt too, it's like when you cross that fear, because fear is always going to be there, right? We think like, oh, I'm so strong. I've done so much work. I don't have fear. Like fear is part of the human emotion. It's okay to feel fear. The biggest fear we have is the fear of death, right? And it's ego really having fear because your soul knows it's eternal. It's, there's no doubt around that, right? But just looking at that fear in the face, confronting that fear in the face and saying, wow, let me feel it, let me go through it in, in a millisecond, right? But it's like boom, piercing through it and releasing all attachments. For me, beyond this almost death experience, it's like, am I open to die every day? Am I open to die every breath? Am I open really to release everything, everyone, constantly? And you know what I felt after? It's like a deeper sense of freedom. It's like this sense of like almost being unstoppable, right? Because we know the soul is unstoppable, but how do you bring that into your nervous system? How do you bring that into to your body? And you let your body know. And this is where I think, you know, all the work I've done, like in my nervous system and all the, you know, the methodology and all the science and everything, all the personal work, spiritual work, everything, right? It's like, it's in that moment where you can embody it. It's in that moment where it's like, that is the time to put it all in practice. 
That is the time of full awareness, of full presence and expansion and surrender or contraction. Scarcity, fear, contraction, closing down or opening, opening the wings, opening into freedom, opening into the language of the soul. And this is one of the biggest lessons I felt, guys. It's like the language of the soul, constantly asking within. Am I aligned right now to my purpose? Am I aligned right now to my life? Am I aligned right now to the universe and the energy, the universal flow? It's happening all the time, right? We've heard about it. We know the oneness. We know the pulsation. All of that. But the question is like, are we surrender? Are we living it? And just questioning that and just being curious about it. It's been like, a, I don't know, maybe a week or so. And I'm just asking myself every day. It's like, whoa, curious about life, curious about my purpose, curious about like, how can I serve more? How can I surrender more? How can I embody more? Because I don't know how long I have, right? And after we have all this situation, we come back and there's like, we lost our plane. There's no plane, right? We needed to come back to Costa Rica. Uh, the ticket doesn't exist. For some reason, the airway says, there's nothing to do, I'm sorry. So we can't board the plane, right? And then it's like, okay. And next day, we, we don't find a ticket. There's no tickets, right? For some reason, it's like the universe still, okay. What, what's going on? What's not flowing in my life? That's, that's what I ask myself, like constantly just to... Mm, align to that, align to synchronicity, align to like, what's the message for me right now? And this is what I feel constantly, guys. It's like, are we listening to all the messages? Like, what's going on in our life that we have a challenging situation? What's going on in our life that we feel it's not flowing? What's going on in our life that we're not listening to the subtleties And when we tuned into that, it was all about surrender. Surrender, release control. If you have to stay in Peru, you stay in Peru, right? And we have to go back to the nest. We have all these meetings on the nest. We have family coming to the nest to check out the lots of the nest and, and just to, you know, live there, right? And they made the, the trip all the way to Costa Rica and we can't get back. We can't get back, right? Okay, I release. I surrender. It's not in my hands. Constantly, guys. You see how... The lesson is constantly about surrender. Like, are we able to detach from everything, but at the same time live constantly with passion? That's the thing, right? Because when we get too much passion, we get attached. Attached to people, attached to things, attached to the outside world, right? Passion kind of brings that in because they never taught us how to live with passion and be unattached at the same time. And that is the secret of life or one of the hundred thousand secrets of life. It's like, can I give myself fully and at the same time, let the seed grow if it's going to grow, right? I was just uh, sharing that with Mind Valley right now. We're, we're doing a beautiful, beautiful course all about presence and all about like whew, manifestation and quantum flow. And um, how to work with the quantum field of infinite possibilities through your body and your nervous system. And, you know, what, what I teach, right? So I shared it in Spanish one, one month ago. It was very beautiful. The first course in Spanish in uh, quantum flow for Mind Valley. And uh, now it's going on in English, right? So it's, uh, it's beautiful to see the, the contrast, right, of like life and death. I wouldn't be here, right? But of course, definitely I had to record this. I had to share this with humanity. It's, it's, it's written, right? I, I said yes to it. I co-created it. But there's always a choice, right? And it's so beautiful to see how 
when we align to that, guys, and we don't get lost in those challenges, we actually use them as, as, as opportunities. Like that capacity for me to surrender opened me up so deeply. Like I got so vulnerable, so vulnerable. I felt like a baby, right? Feeling that vulnerability as a baby. Oh my God. That's the infinite f possibilities right there. It's a quantum field, right? You're fully tapped into the quantum field. You see babies, you look at their, look at their eyes. They're there, they're, they're constantly there. They're there, that's their state. That's our natural state when we're born. We're still in another dimension, right? It's still there. But how do we bring that other dimension to the now? How do we bring that um, vertical reality to the horizontal reality? The vertical reality is eternal, right? It's always there. It's connected to source, to energy. It's always there. But the horizontal reality is always varying. It's always changing. So what, how do we navigate in the changing world? How do we stay focused and centered, passionately and attached? And I was so vulnerable and so open. All this is happening. Next day we get the ticket, right? And it's like, okay, we need to, it, it's happening. We're going back to Costa Rica. Okay, thank you. <laughs> After so many hours, of my, so my, it opened up like, okay, two tickets opened up. Perfect, we're going back. And I received the news that my mother is uh, very sick and is diagnosed with like a very um, harsh illness, or I call it imbalance in the body, right? And I don't even want to name it because I know we create huge stories around it, but it's a very like heavy, heavy illness that humanity has right now. And yeah, my mother gets diagnosed with this and I just get the news. So I opened up to everything, everything's flowing and then I get this news. And then again, I feel my heart, I start crying. I feel the fear of like losing my mother, right? And it's like, she's like my best friend. She's like everything, you know? Like I've had always such a beautiful, deep connection with her. She's, she's an angel. I'm sure you've seen her here and there in posts or whatever, but I'll post a photo of her so you can feel her. Like all the mothers, of course, all the mothers are, are so amazing, right? The feminine energy is, is just so sweet and powerful, beautiful. And then just the, the, the fear of losing her, which we don't lose them, but wow, she's not gonna be here anymore. Like she's leaving any moment, right? Again. And instead of reacting, I'm like, breathing through this vulnerability I'm going through already. I just let myself cry. I let go of any drama that's coming through, right? Because, you know, pain is inevitable, but suffering is a choice, right? So I let myself feel it, but then I'm like, okay, even if she dies tomorrow, she's always with me. She's always in our heart. Like all my grandparents that I love so much, they're all in my heart, right? I always ask for guidance from them and I always connect with them. It's, it's so beautiful to have that connection with people that are not in this body anymore, but they're there. Their energy is there. It's in our heart. We can feel it. We can ask them. We can connect with them. We can ask for guidance. I see them as angels, right? So I'm like, okay, my mother's just gonna be an angel for me right now and for humanity. And the moment I let go of that, I get back to her. She's deaf, so she can't hear anything. So I just messaging her back and really feeling her and like really beyond anything. It's like, how are you doing, mom? And she's like, I have so much fear, all this stuff coming up. I don't know what's going on. Like she's done a lot of spiritual work, you know, but she's like facing the fear of death. Like you just received the news. You can die any moment. Again, again, and again, and again. And I just feel I came from this place of like deep wisdom and vulnerability and connection with her that just calmed her down so much. Brought her back to her 
to her heart. I didn't even write much. I was just very present. I was just very loving. I was just very like in my heart, you know, like connected to my soul and not into the drama of my attachment, my personality. Like you're my mother, you know, you can't go. Like, what am I going to do? Whatever. All those stories that can come up, right? With whoever, whatever relationship. And I'm just like clearing all of that and clearing all the, all the baggage also that this diagnosis have because they can diagnose whatever you want, but I'm fully allowed to, aligned to the natural way and to understand why we have an illness, why we have an imbalance and what can I learn from it, right? <clears throat> so then I go see her, I connect with her, I had this beautiful, beautiful eternal moment with her and it's, um, it's all about Asking the question, why? Not from a victim, not from a place of, why me, right? It's just why? What's my lesson on this right now? How can I make the best out of this situation? A constant question, guys. Coming out of that dramatic self that wants to come out in any situation, it gets rough, and it's like the dramatic self comes out, right? And it's like, mm, okay. Yeah, I, I, can, I can feel my emotions. I can feel my attachment. I can feel everything. But also, is this an opportunity for me to, to remember who I am? To remember I am a soul? To remember there's so much more than this 3D reality. It's like, wake up. You're lost again in the game. Hey, wake up. You're lost again in the matrix, right? And I'm not saying run away from it. No, feel it. You know I'm all about the body. Feel it in the body. Feel the emotion. Feel the pain. It's okay. And let it go. Let it transform you. And that's what I did, guy. With, 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 with my mother, we were there. We cried. We opened up. And then we enter this place of bliss I've never entered with her before. And of course, it's her own experience. It's my own experience. We're both there, the no time, no space, looking at each other's eyes, crying but of gratitude now. Not because she's going or not or whatever, which I feel she's very strong and powerful and she's getting the lessons of why this happened and she's not going to go. That's what I feel. Not from a place of attachment. It's when I tune into it. But the lesson is, can we be in that place of no time, no space, that place of the heart, that place that's the only place that's real inside of us, that inner reality? And when we let go of all those distractions, when we let go of all the stories, when, when we let go of all the, the clouds around the sun, we connect with the sun. And in these challenges, guys, is that's when it all shows up. That's the real ceremony. I was coming from Peru from all these ceremonies, right? And I always tell the people, it's like, okay, the real ceremony begins in life. It's so easy, right? To pray and meditate and do and release and all with the most amazing people in the most amazing place. And that's great. You're doing the work, but the real work is when you're there with your family, with your children, with life, with your purpose, with your business, with your life, that is the real ceremony. I, am I being present? Am I available to the highest potential for me right now? And in that no time, no space, I got lost with my mom. Looking at each other's eyes, it was like... Pure soul. There wasn't a body, right? When you get into that state of meditation, but with a person. Same state I had with Regan when we met. Five hours, no words, no time, no space. We got lost in the nothingness. And that's when we knew, like, there's something going on here. <laughs> we didn't know each other's names for five hours. That 
place of no time, no space? Am I accessible? Am I open? Am I cultivating myself constantly to be in that state, to be in that flow state? The state of manifestation, the state of being, the state of co-creation. And it's something we cultivate, guys. This is the resiliency we always talk about, the inner resiliency. You build, you construct, you create. Working on your nervous system, releasing all the stuff, all the stories from the body memory, from your nervous system. So you can expand more, so you can, so, so you can live in a place of, ah, oh, I am safe, it's okay, I can be me, I can shine, I can shine my light. I am here to share all my gifts and it's okay. And if someone is touched by that or moved by that in, in some negative way, well, bye-bye. I keep shining. I keep shining my light because I know who I am. We all know who we are deep inside. And the question is, Are you constantly aware of that? Are you constantly aware that you can leave any moment? Any moment you can leave this body. Did you keep the music inside of you? Or did you share the music with the world? Did you tell everyone that you loved? Did you let them know how much you loved them? Did you forgive? Did you speak your truth of something you're carrying and you need to talk to that person? Don't carry that anymore. Don't wait till you're in a near-death experience. Do it now. Free yourself. Free yourself through your nervous system. Free yourself through your breath, through your movement, through your quantum flow. That's what we do with quantum flow, guys. We go deep in the nervous system. We release the nervous system, the body memory from the nervous system. Yes, and it takes time. It takes patience. Yes, you got to do the work. <laughs> it's not going to happen alone. It's not just meditating on it. You teach your body constantly how to be in that state of presence, full presence. Your body is like a wild animal. It doesn't know. It's like the mind. It's like a wild animal. But the master of the temple comes to the house self-mastery i'm here i'm now yeah guys that's how it is and this is something i want to share with you i want to do like a an online webinar for you guys about self-mastery inner mastery i feel it's so important to talk about that right now the moments we're going in and <laughs> what's going on in humanity right now i feel it's it's basics inner mastery it's like who am i how do I deal with all these emotions, these thoughts, these energies, these visions, these desires, these gifts that I have? How do I flow with it and use it all to support me actually in this purpose, in this life? Very beautiful. So if you want to join us, guys, comment below with Inner Mastery. It's free. You know, that's my gift to you. I'm always doing this all the time. Every lesson I learn, everything I embody myself, I want to share it with my people, my tribe, my family. So if you want to join us on this training, comment below with Inner Mastery. And we're going to go deep into that. Life. magic of life, the mystery of life. Wow. <laughs> what is this all about? So beautiful, so magical, so mystical. Mm. Very grateful now, guys, to share this space with you. I need it. To... That's why I'm doing this live stream. I have a lot of hours to go on talking and sharing. It's part of like what I've called into my life. Seven years ago, I was like, I'm open to go to the next level. I'm open to travel the world. I'm open to work with like amazing leaders from all over the world. 
And Mind Valley was a great doorway to that. They called me in. I don't. I didn't look for it. They called me in. They work with millions of people. It's a beautiful platform. If you don't know about them, go check them out. Mind Valley, beautiful, powerful, so much, so much. And um, yeah, it's it's so amazing to see how everything has been manifested. And when I went there the first time, I'm like, whoa, this is this is powerful. I feel these people. I feel this tribe. I feel. I feel I have a place in here, right? And I'm like, oh, you're dreaming too big. These are, you know, millionaires and, and leaders from all over the world and like, oh my God. And, you know, I wasn't into that much abundance in that moment. I wasn't, you know, that, that tapped in into like my, my full potential in that moment. So I was like, whoa, it's too much for me. But I surrendered, I surrendered, I stayed there on the path and, you know, from there, it, all, it opened up all the possibilities, all the possibilities, guys. When we stay in that place of infinite possibilities and we let go of all those behaviors, habits, um, beliefs, everything that has hold us back, all those blind spots, we're free, guys. We're free, familia. And freedom is it's every day. It's not like, oh, I'm free already. It's like... Every day, every day, like, do I feel free? Am I tapped into freedom? Am I living in freedom or am I attached to life? Am I holding on? So let me release whatever I'm holding on so I can be more free, so I can experience life as its full potential, which is freedom. Full freedom. <laughs> inner freedom i'm not talking about going crazy and doing crazy things outside of us i tried that a lot and that wasn't freedom that was a fake freedom <laughs> didn't take me anywhere but it's okay I, I i had my lessons the real freedom the inner freedom so if you're all about inner freedom if you're all about going deep into inner mastery let's do this let's do this training together let's go deep guys <laughs> thank you all for being here Thank you all for your support, your love. Thank you for all your messages when you heard I had the crash and what was, I was going through. I felt you all, you helped me a lot through those moments. I really love when you get back to me on stories and you get, you know, you connect with me. I, I really love that, just so you know, you, you, you're my family. Even if I don't know you physically, right? Many of, of you, we know each other. We've hugged, but many of you I don't and I don't care, I feel you feel you when you reach out so thank you for that you. it was a very tough moment for me very challenging moment and uh, you were there for me too that's why I'm here for you too and not because of that I just love being here <laughs> being here for myself and being here for others so thank you for doing the same for me I see you love you honor you thank you for who you are Thank you for your gifts. <laughs> I could go on and on and on, but the team is here. Everyone's back. We're going to continue our filming. I just want to show you beautiful um, space here. We're ready. Everyone's like, okay, Juanpa, we're ready to go. Check this out, guys. Okay, guys, ready? Here we go, team. How you doing? Everybody's ready to rock and roll, familia. <laughs> Love you all so much. We will see you very soon in the free training. Pura vida.